welcome back guys first update for the new year i'm back with some emily updates guys and um this video we're talking about aditya getting married to malini like i don't understand this is the second time aditya is remarrying malini and malini is now the legal wife this is premium betrayal to emily because emily will be heartbroken she isn't expecting this and she is very shocked Malini, of course, will be excited. This is what she have always wanted. So let us jump straight into the video to see how the update happened, what led to it, everything in between. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't. As we jump straight into the video of today, episode where we starting start with um Aditya um, asking the priest to start the mantra for the Ferrazai's wedding runs. Apana requests him not to do this mistake, and Aditya says that he will not listen to anyone. Aditya calls Emily and Arian, who have already entered the series now, and asks if they got business in their personal tax and that they forgot their professional tax as well. Employee says that they both are missing. Aditya asks the priest to start the ferrets. Arian notices Emily being unconscious inside the car, breaks down the window glass, and when he's unable to open the door, breaks it and gets Emily out. Aditya and Malini Ferra started. Dave walks away, saying that he doesn't want to be part of this scene. Emily panics and pleads Arian to let her go and that she cannot let Aditya marry someone else. Arian thinks why she wants to return to a person who never valued her. He leaves her hands and that says that it is her life and that she has the right to do her decisions. Emily runs towards the altar, sleeps and falls down. She gets up again, start running and stands shocked seeing Aditya already applying vermilion on, him, on Malini's hairline. Emily gets shattered seeing that Aditya tries to walk out of the altar but stops seeing the Gatabandan. Gatabandan is that rope that they used to tie um, the two couple before they start walking around the fire. Emily walks into the altar and ties the Gatabandan more tightly and says that they need to be more careful as they were careless the last time. And then Malini turns Emily back and says that she will not let Emily break her house again. Emily replies back that she knows what all Malini can do. Emily replies back that she knows that all Malini wanted to do was to get married to Aditya and comments on how Aditya have once betrayed her and is doing it again. He and then Aditya says that why is she bothered as she have betrayed him as well and Malini always has been the one lawyer to him. She says that they have a now she says that they have a new relationship now and that she has a videographer to continue recording as she will perform a footwear stealing ritual. She asks Aditya that she needs something in return of his footwear rituals and Aditya said that she already took a lot from him and that he's not willing to give anything to Emily again and asks what does she need now. She says that she wants one. She says that she wants one year of loyalty to him and this moment when he betrayed her but she was loyal to him. Those 365 days when she loved him immensely, he shows his empty hand and says that she got all her love in return with interest and walks away with Malini, leaving her senseless in the mandab. The guests discuss that a full on drama is going on here and they don't even know who is marrying whom again and how many times they are both going to get married. Pankaj asks them not to bother about their family and they should leave and not stop the guests and ask when the guests haven't come on invitation, why would they go on insistence? They should distribute gifts to the guests, dance with them. Obviously, I know he's happy. Malina finally got married to Aditya. She offers to gift Apana first. Apana throws away the gift, shouts at her in sorrow, but Anu is celebrating. Anu says that it's her son's marriage. Apana says her son loves only Emily and won't be happy his whole life. Even Malini won't be happy as well. Anu says that she took revenge from Savant Junior and Senior is very happy. And then Emily's biggest decision I was talking about, Emily took an oath that she will never cry for Aditya and that she should be a strong hero and you know make her own decision so guys this was one of the major stuff that really now provocated um emily's mom to now make um arian and emily get married because don't forget that aditya have gotten married to malini of course now they are still doing pregnancy trap pregnancy drama later on emily and aditya divorced and now um aditya have just without any remorse or any feeling have remarried malini and now for revenge, Emily have to get married to Arian. That is just the only explanation to this drama that they are cooking up. Anyways, guys, um, I want to really know how you feel about this marriage ceremony happening actually this January on Emily. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching and bye, guys.